What's up, y'all? We're back at it again. It's week four in the NFL. Let's get started. First matchup, California, uh, Carolina versus Baltimore. We all know what kind of game it's going to be. Steve Smith talking. Cam Newton talking a little trash. Steve Smith's going to ball. We all know that. He's going to get his yards. He's going to get his reception. But who's really going to win this game? It's going to be the Panthers because the Panthers are a better team than me right now. Yeah, granted, they lost to Pittsburgh. They got embarrassed. They got run over. But at the same time, you look at Carolina, you look at their defense right now. Yeah, they don't have Greg Hardy, but their defense is still legitimate, still a force to be reckoned with. And Cam Newton right now is playing at a high level. Even though he didn't play as well last week, he's still a threat, a dual running threat, a dual threat that can run and throw the ball. And I don't think the uh, the Ravens' defense is going to be able to deal with that. Plus, Joe Flacco is suspect. Next game, Green Bay, Chicago. Green Bay is sliding right now. Green Bay is not looking that good. I know everybody's thinking the survivor of this division game. Green Bay is going to win. I think they're favored. Or actually, no, I think Chicago is actually favored. I'm going with Chicago. Um, Chicago, because Chicago right now has a high-powered offense, and that offense is looking legit. Brandon Marshall is not going to be stopped by anybody on Green Bay's defense. He's going to run over them. <laughs> They're going to eat them alive. <laughs> Brandon Marshall is not going to be is not going to be contained by anybody on the Green Bay defense. Any of their cornerbacks, not Sam Shields, not any of them. They're too small, so that's not going to happen. Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers looks suspect right now. Everybody says he's the best quarterback in the league. Personally, I think it's Peyton Manning, but Aaron Rodgers does not look like the best right now. He looks like he's struggling. Looks like he needs some help. <laughs> He needs help, and he's not getting it today. <laughs> Next game, Buffalo versus Houston. That's a tough one. Buffalo's been playing all right. Buffalo's been playing pretty well, and they have a good defense. They had a top 10 defense last year. Um, but Houston has a lot to prove this year. They just gave J.J. Watt $100 million. He's going to play well. Their defense is going to play well. I don't think Buffalo's really going to get the ball moving that well. And... Even though Houston has a young and experienced quarterback, I'm pretty sure Aaron Foster is coming back for today. So that's definitely going to help out their running game, and then they're going to be able to move the ball and uh, create more opportunities, create more chances for the uh, for the offense, and then get the defense more rest. So the next game, we got Tennessee versus Indianapolis. Look, the Colts right now, they got a gimme win. They got, they got a win against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Nothing impressive. They beat them 41-14. I mean, that's... It's a Jaguar, so that's what you expect. But you look at the Tennessee Titans, nothing stands out to you. Nothing's eye-popping. There's nothing that they're really doing that's really grabbing my attention. Like, I'm not interested in the Tennessee Titans. <laughs> they, they don't have anything worth, worth talking about right now. And they're just not going to win this game. The Colts are going to win this game. Uh, I'm going to say about, I'm going to say 31 to 14. And for those other scores before, uh, Buffalo, Houston, I'm going to put that at, uh, let's say, about 24 to 10. Uh, 20, or actually, no, 20, 21 to 10. 21 to 10, Houston. And then uh, Green Bay, Chicago, that's definitely going to be a high-scoring game. I think it's going to be about, uh, say, 35 to 24, uh, Chicago. And Baltimore, Carolina. I think Carolina is just going to edge this one out. It's going to be about 21 to maybe 17, 18, around there, about 21 to 17. And next game, going with Detroit and the New York Jets. Now, the New York Jets, they we all saw what happened. They got embarrassed last last uh, last Sunday night when they played the – or actually, no, I'm not, sorry, not Sunday night, Monday night when they played – the Bears, the Bears, they're really not a great overall team. They have a good offense, but they're not a great balanced overall team. And the way the Jets got embarrassed against them, getting when Geno Smith was throwing picks, I'm like, you're throwing picks against an, a, not that great of a defense. I mean, Detroit is definitely a better defense than Chicago. And the other thing about Detroit is their defensive line is lethal. So I'm wondering if Geno is going to make it through tonight okay in one piece. And I don't see that happening. So <laughs> I see the Jets losing this game, even though it's uh, a home game for them. And I see Calvin Johnson getting at least 100 receiving yards. Yeah, Megatron. <laughs> so got Detroit winning this game. I'll go with 
Yeah, actually, no, I'm sorry. 24. We'll go 24 14. Give the Jets uh, two touchdowns. And going with Miami and Oakland, the game in London. I think I'm going to go with the Dolphins on this one. I think they're going to win. I think it's going to be a high score game. It's going to be a fun game. Going to be a couple of picks thrown here and there. Maybe like a 31 28 game. And I think the Miami Dolphins end up pulling it out because I think they're overall a better roster than the Raiders. Even though they're not that great, you know. They're playing the Raiders, and it's just you take two teams who aren't really playing that well right now, and Miami's playing a little bit better. Next game, we got T Tampa Bay at Pittsburgh. Tampa Bay Tampa Bay got embarrassed. We all saw what happened Thursday night. We all saw what happened against the Falcons. That was an embarrassment. That was, oof, that was bad. <laughs> I don't see them really winning anything anytime soon. They got to get stay. They, they got to make so many changes. They got to fix so many things right now. And right now, Pittsburgh's just vibing. I mean, they went into Carolina, beat them, and Carolina's a formidable playoff team that in most people's eyes. And Pittsburgh right now, they're, they're doing all right, you know. They lost a couple of games. They lost a couple of close games. But uh, they're not they're not too bad right now, you know. They're they're figuring things out. But I think they'll get it together. I think they're going to win this game. Um, let's go with uh, 27 to 27 to 14. 27 to 14. Next game. We're gonna say uh, we're gonna go with Jacksonville, San Diego. This is an easy one in the bag. San Diego beat the beat the uh, reigning defensive champions, reigning champions of the Super Bowl, the Seahawks, in San Diego. So there's nothing that leads me to believe that Jacksonville is gonna pull off an upset in San Diego and go in there and beat them. They're, San Diego's playing at a high level, high level right now. Phil Rivers is accurate right now. They're not losing. And that score is going to be, I don't think it's going to be close. It's probably going to be a blowout. It's probably going to be about 35-14, to 35-10. 35-14, that's what we're going to go with. And next game, got Atlanta at Minnesota. You Normally, I would give Minnesota the advantage in this game because Atlanta is suspect. And even though their offense is high-powered, that defense has questions. But there's no Adrian Peterson. How are you going to keep up with the Falcons scoring offensively? Got Julio Jones and Roddy White. They're, they're beasts. They're lethal. Um, you know, the running game is decent right now. They got a couple of good fullbacks, and I don't see them losing. You know, I think it's going to be a score around the lines of 28 to uh, 17, 17, 28 to 17, uh, Atlanta, just because Atlanta has no defense. But so Minnesota's got to put up some points. But at the end of the day, they're really not going to be doing too much. Next game, ooh, it's going to be Philadelphia and San Francisco. A lot of things going on this week. People thinking, you know, 49ers, they got to get it together. They're in a meltdown period. Oh, they're going to do this. They're going to do that. No, nah, no. The Philadelphia Eagles are one of the best teams in the league right now. I said this to start the season. The Philadelphia Eagles are one of the biggest threats to the Seattle Seahawks repeating this year in the NFC for the Super Bowl championship. And I'm telling you right now, the Philadelphia Eagles are going to win this game. They're going to win a high-scoring game. I'm going to put it at 35 to 31. They're going to win this game because right now the 49ers, they aren't focused. They got problems on defense, immense problems on offense. I mean, yeah, they're putting up numbers, but they've been outscored. I think it was a stat of 52 to 3 in the second half right now. It's, it's, a, it's a tale of two teams, two opposites. Philadelphia scoring in the second half and San Francisco scoring in the first half. You know what that says to me? It's not even just about mental toughness. It's about the way you're conditioned, the way you're prepared for each game. I mean, you're not doing that, then you got problems. So I don't think they're going to win this game. I think, you know, Philadelphia's going to win this one 35-31. And I just think second half, they're going to do what they do. Philadelphia's going to take over. Uh, next game is New Orleans and Dallas. Uh, this is a Sunday night game. We all know this is going to be a very – Highly, com maybe highly competitive watch game is going to be a very fun game. I don't know about highly competitive. I think New Orleans is going to win this one not with not too much trouble, but I do think it's going to be high scoring. I'm going to go with something like 42 to uh, 34. This is going to be a very high scoring game, but we all know who's going to win in the end. This, uh, the Dallas Cowboys are an accident waiting to happen, and um, the Saints, they need a win. You know, they're looking at the playoffs, you know, versus the Cowboys who are just trying to get to the playoffs. It's a tale of two different teams, and right now the Saints need a win. I think they played decent last week, even though they, you know, they just barely won. <laughs> but 
They're going to have to get it together. They got that offense going for them. And Rob Ryan, or, uh, yep, yeah, Rob Ryan, uh, former defensive coordinator, he knows things too about what they're going to do. 41st downs against the Cowboys last year, so we'll see what happens there. And the Monday night game, New England, Kansas City. You know, normally I'll pick New England to win this game. I would. And New England is very formidable. They're a very good team. But let's look at Kansas City. Kansas City hasn't really won the last. They lost their first two games, won the last game. They're formidable in some ways, but the problem with them is that they have a game manager like Alex Smith. They don't have a lot of risk takers. And that's the problem right there. But you have somebody like a Dwayne Bow, you have somebody like a, a Jamal Charles to get the job done. And I think that's what's gonna work for them. They're gonna get the job done because they have somebody like a Dwayne Bow, Jamal Charles. And right now New England is relatively unprotected, so on the defense side of the ball, they still have a couple of their defensive linemen from last year who are formidable and they're gonna be able to get to uh Tom Brady and make him tap dance. And when I say tap dance, I mean that Tom Brady <laughs> He can dance a little bit in the in, in in the pocket when you get him to move, and as soon as you get him dancing, that's when he starts throwing picks. So that's gonna conclude this week. Come back, see, subscribe, see what I'm about, see uh, the past weeks about some of my games. So far, I've been right. Uh, I'll, I'll tie up all the scores for you guys in the next video. Tie up uh, my wins and loss call, win and loss column. But every week I've been positive so far. And if you don't believe me, go check out the videos. I've been positive every single week. I'm gonna be positive again this week. And I'm going for about, I think I'm gonna win about 12, 13 games this week. It's looking pretty good. I'm gonna win the majority of the games. Uh, so come back, subscribe. Uh, shout out to First Take. Shout out to Mike and Mike in the morning. Uh, Hashtag NFL Chronicles and subscribe.